Hey everyone and welcome back to Pearly Be Plenty and today I have another super fun Fashion Friday DIY for you all. I'm sorry I, I am sounding really weird. First we have something different and I'm going to be starting to do an OOTD like what I'm wearing because I have this shirt and I love this shirt so much so I was like how about I show you guys what I'm wearing. So let's do that. So for today's OOTD, for my hair, I am letting it loose and free. And then for my shirt, I am wearing a Forever 21 Heartbreaker shirt. And I just got this shirt, and I love this shirt so much. So yeah, I love this combination. It looks so cute. I just love my hair and my shirt. And then for my shorts, I am wearing an IZ Girl tie-dye shorts, and I love it. So last week's Fat Fashionista of the Week question was, what's your favorite part about going back to school and why? Because we are making these. DIY back to school locker supplies. These are all so adorable and I have five DIYs going in about 12 minutes So it's totally awesome. If you guys have not watched that and made it you need to watch it So I will link it down below. So this week's fat fashionista of the week is Jenny Faith, I think. Sorry if I cannot pronounce your name right The answer was I absolutely love elective classes I love that I can pick what classes I want like art and band and choir it's always my favorite part of the day. I also love having the awesome teachers that dedicate their lives to helping kids have better futures. I hate writing essays, though. Blah. This is such a great answer. I do, too. I love elective classes. So, congratulations, Jenny, for being the fat fashionista of this week. Other shimmers go to Rachel Us, Missy Gibbons, Dauntless underscore Gambino, Nimsy Figuero, I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce your name right, Cynthia Alcantar, Duct Tape Burley, Kyla Skipper, Valentina Caranos, Arabella Washington, Lucifer and Geoff Doostoof, and reviews by Nicola. So for your chance to be featured as the Fab Fashionista of the Week next time, leave me a comment down below telling me what is the best three color combination. Oh my gosh, I always forget. Yes, oh my gosh, and I did the intro without it, but oh well, you get to see the out outro with it. So for today's DIY, we'll be making these really cute beaded knot bracelets. And these are super adorable and so fun to make. And the style is so cool and so in. But you can make a ring, a charm, a bracelet, whatever you want out of these. So they're super adorable and I love these. So let's get started with this DIY. So for today's activity, you'll be needing perler bead, some sort of yarn, and you could use string. But I would recommend doing yarn because it will be easier. You guys will see and scissors and that's all you need you don't need a wax saver or iron or anything else just those three so it's very very easy so first we are going to be getting out our string and scissors and depending on what you want to make to be honest since my size of your wrist and your size of the wrist m must be different you're really going to cut maybe like a foot and see what you can make out of it and if you can make a whole charm or just a ring bracelet or whatever okay so we're just going to cut it but since you're going to be tying knots on it you're not going probably going to want to measure about twice the size of your wrist or you can just experiment and cut out a random one so now let's talk perler beads so for your beaded bracelet, you will be choosing what colors you want. You can do one color or random colors or three colors. It's totally up to you. But for this bracelet, I'm going to be trading off doing three colors, which I'm going to be doing a peach, a light blue, and a light purple. So the first thing you're going to be doing is beading a bead in the middle of your yarn. So first, you're going to begin by tying two knots on both ends of the bead and if you're using yarn you probably will be needing about double knots so that's what I did and you want to make sure it's as close to the bead as possible so you can get the best look. So all we're going to do is keep on beading once, which I have already done, and then knot them. So basically we want to make sure the knot is as close as possible because that is going to give it the best look. Um, yeah, don't get really mad at it because sometimes it is frustrating, but it's going to turn out good. And do not make it perfect because it is not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be kind of like raggedy, old, but really cool look. So do not get mad at it. Every knot is going to be different. Keep trying, you got this. It looks amazing. I feel like a trainer, like a workout trainer. I am a DIY trainer. You got this. Don't stop. So 
So thankfully I am coming to the end of beading, so I'm going to be beading a few more beads onto my beaded knotted. That's a lot. Okay, guys, of so once you have strung on and beaded on some of your beads, it should look something like this, and it's really cool. I'm sorry. This is not as good as view as I would have liked it to be, because it actually looks really cool but anyway once you have come to the point where both ends you cannot string anymore on what we are going to do is you have two options you can either leave it like that as a charm and if you it fits your bracelet you would obviously tie it but mine is not very tight right now so you have one other option to grab more of your string and what we are going to do is cut i don't know maybe a couple inches off and you're going to go ahead and tie them to the ends of this so you can actually make a bracelet off that. So the last optional step is to, with your scissors, go ahead and cut the ends of it so it looks better. But for the first one, I accidentally cut these, which is why it has an ugly piece of tape on it. So you definitely have to be careful with it, but it might make it look a little bit better. And remember, these are not supposed to be perfect. These are supposed to be like the laid back looky type of them so do not worry about how it looks and if it's messy because this is the style of it and want, we want to make sure with our ends we're not cutting it too far down because then it will touch with the i was going to say root but the knot of it which is not very good so so congratulations you have finished your really cute beaded knotted bracelet or whatever else you created this look is super cool. I really like this bracelet. The color combination is totally awesome. And it's just like really laid back look. And it's pretty cool. I love all the knots at the end of everything. And then um, this is totally awesome. So that is this time's Fashion Friday DIY. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I really hope you girls enjoyed these really cute beaded knot bracelets because I hope you guys try these at home because these are really awesome. Especially this turned out actually a really neat and really good. So like this video if you like this video, design, tutorial, DIY, whatever you want to call it. Also don't forget to leave me a comment telling me what is your best three color combination. It does not really have to be three colors, a co color combination, three colors combination. If it's a whole rainbow, tell me that. And also why for your chance to be featured as the Fab Fashionista of next week. And also if you haven't already, please go subscribe to this channel for new videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks girls so much for watching. I will see all of you in two weeks for another really fun Fab Fashionista Fashion Friday DIY. Bye everyone. Mwah. Boom.